Welcome, one and all, to the KOE Nation for a premium brandy review. We are here, we are together at the KOE Nation, folks. Be sure to like, share, subscribe right here on YouTube, and be sure to follow KOE Nation on Twitch. But without further ado, folks, let's get right into this marvelous, marvelous brandy. As you can see, folks, I have been enjoying it. Your prince and potentate of the political parlance, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes the other podcast cower. This is an amazing, amazing product. Laird's Old Apple Brandy, seven and a half years old. Uh, this stuff is gonna be a little different from any brandy you've ever had, I guarantee it. This is one of the oldest distilleries in uh, North America, let alone the United States, and it makes a very special apple brandy. Now, this is a very interesting product. I, I had to take a couple of notes on it. It was started in 1780. It utilizes no yeasts. It just uses what the apples produce naturally. And that's how the fermentation process starts, which is fascinating to me. Um, they use new charred oak barrels, just like bourbon. So you're going to have a very bourbony uh, influence here. I, I don't know how else to put it. It's, <laughs> it's, it is going to seem like a, an apple brandy and a, Bourbon had a love child. I, I, I don't know how else to put it. Um, it takes 16 pounds of apples to make one bottle and 7,000 pounds to make a single full new charred oak cask to fill one. So it takes an astounding amount of apples to do it. And I can just about imagine the production. So once the apples that look all pretty and you, you know, you want to just bite right into it and make makes its way to your grocery store. Once those are all picked, this is a perfect way to use the apples that are still left because there's gonna be a lot of them. And I'm also thinking like back in the, the 1780s or before, if you were an apple farmer and you hadn't sold all of your apple harvest, this is it. You either make this or you don't make any money off of everything you grow. So I can imagine apple brandy becoming very popular through early Americas. And so before we get into the review here, they've got this little booklet here and I'm going to share it with you. Ah, yes, the glasses of extreme. So at Laird's and Company, we've been producing fine aged apple brandy longer than anyone else in America. In fact, over 300 years of patience, skill, and experience go into every bottle of Laird's old apple brandy, seven and a half year, 80 proof. One taste and you'll recognize its unique full flavor heritage. The earliest commercial brandy distillery in 1698, William Laird emigrated to New Jersey from his native County Fife in Scotland. Soon he began distilling his own apple brandy, sharing this delightful spirit with friends and family. As word spread, demand grew. And by 1780, what began as a small farm enterprise had become America's first commercial brandy distillery, producing the same smooth apple brandy you're about to enjoy. Today, the eighth and ninth generation of the Laird family still carry on the tradition, creating this fine product, as well as Laird's famous Applejack in the country's oldest continuously operating brandy distillery, located here in Scoobyville, New Jersey. Laird's also operates, in, operates a facility in North Garden, Virginia, a wee bit of New Jersey history. In commemoration of New Jersey's 300th anniversary, the state Senate passed a unanimous resolution saluting the apple brandy industry as the oldest native distilled spirit beverage industry in the United States. Hell yeah. We couldn't be more pleased. This old apple brandy, limited in quantity and matured to the peak of flavor, Flavorful Perfection is a fitting tribute to New Jersey's heritage and 
as the purchaser of this fine spirit, a compliment to your enduring good taste. Oh, well, thank you. You even, you even got in a little, uh, a little thumbs up to the customer there. Well done. Well done. Savor it slowly. Of course, the true test of any brandy is in the tasting. Distilled from pure sweet cider, Laird's Old Apple Brandy is uniquely different with a delicate flavor and aroma fresh tree ripened apples. As President Larry Laird says, sipping from a brandy snifter is my favorite way to fully enjoy the delightful smooth flavor and boutique of our apple brandy. You'll also find Laird's Old Apple Brandy adds a delicious depth to the flavor to many of your favorite recipes. It marries beautifully with poultry or add a dash to many desserts. Just use as you would ordinary brandy for extraordinary results. Oh my, they're even accounting for kitchen uses. Like, oh, good goodness gracious. Oh Lord. Um... Now relax and enjoy. We thank you for choosing Laird's Old Apple Brandy and hope you are pleased with this fine product. Because this special select apple brandy is available in limited amounts, true connoisseurs will want to protect themselves against future deprivation. So why not purchase several, several bottles or even a case today? Well done. Well done. I mean... That is A plus marketing. That is like, I'm I'm a little bit in awe. Well done, well done. And then the last thing that they've got in the back of the bottle here. This rare old apple brandy is part of a very limited quantity that was especially distilled and carefully aged under my personal supervision to reach its peak of perfection. I'm sure you'll enjoy the delicate, smooth flavor and bouquet of this most unusual apple brandy. Laird and Company. My word. So, folks, I've given you the buildup, but now it's tr time to see is the proof in the pudding. <sighs> oh, that smells good. You've got the apple that's there, but it's also got the caramel and vanilla of a brand of a bourbon. I almost said brandy there. Mm. Yes, this is just like a perfect harmony of the two. It's they're not using the apple to cover up imperfections in the oak, and they're not using the oak to cover up imperfections in the apple brandy. They're putting them together right to make an amazing product here. Oh, the caramel's finally, or caramel for those across the pond. It's really coming through. But folks, time to taste. Mm. Yeah, that bites like a bourbon. Mm. It's got that sweetness. You get a little oak, but not as much as you'd think. And the oak you do get is just wrapped in apple. Mm. Mm. Going in for a second taste. Oh, the smell is just gorgeous. Oh my, my oh my. If you like brandy, or if you like bourbon, this is one to pick up. So now we get to the really hard part. Yeah, this just tastes like apple bourbon. I don't know what else, how else to describe it. Um, but now we gotta get to, to uh, the grading. So this is how we're going to grade it folks. On a five star scale, five being you need to have it before you shuffle off this mortal coil. Half star, eh, you can take it or leave it. So we're gonna grade this as a brandy. We're gonna get grade this as a cask aged spirit and as an apple brandy. I mean, why not?
So folks, as a brandy, I'm going to give this, gosh, I'm trying to figure out a reason not to give it four stars as a brandy, just a brandy. Because it's not properly a brandy. It's not properly a bourbon. It's, I mean, it is properly a brandy, but it's got so much bourbon influence. I'm going to go with as a brandy. 375. Okay. Uh, excellent stuff. But as a brandy, I mean, think of all the cognacs, Armagnacs, all this other, it's a wide, wide world of sports. So 375 as a brandy. Now, as a cask aged spirit, I am giving this 425. This is amazing. Again, it's kind of one of those it doesn't quite fit either category. So it's not cleanly in the apple brandy. It's not cleanly in the bourbon category, but it's got its toes in either. So it's not like a strict connoisseur's drink. Like if you're a strict connoisseur of only brandy or a strict connoisseur of only bourbon, this one is kind of in both worlds. But as a cask age spirit, 425, because it's an amazing drink. Mm, my goodness, this is ascendant. If you were going to make a five brandies you needed, this one would be in the daily drinker category. And as an apple brandy, Five stars. You saw it here. One, two, three, four, five. Bam! Five stars as an apple brandy. This is amazing. Ascendant. I don't know how anybody else in the apple brandy game is going to try and top this. I'm willing to see. I'm willing to taste. But as it stands right now, this is amazing Ascendant stuff. I got it for $35. Folks, if you see this stuff, give it a taste, give it a try. Uh, it's, you don't have to go bottle hunting for it, at least yet. Don't tell nobody. Don't, in, in fact, yeah. If anybody asks you about it, no, 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 it, 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 it's all right, it's all right. And then, and then you go buy a couple of bottles yourself. Yeah. This. This is one I could see becoming a, a highly sought after hunted bottle in a few years, if it catches on, because it's just, mwah. but folks, yes, Laird's Apple Brandy, one of the oldest American distilled products, and it's still here. God bless. So folks, as I'm known to say around here, all that being said, Thank you for joining me for this very special review of Laird's Apple Brandy. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, and I will find you at all of the different varying places that you can get all of your KOE content. You can find me at Big Fucking Empire. You can find me at Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast. You can find me at KOE Nation on YouTube and Twitch. That's the best place to find me for all your KOE content. Be sure to like, share, subscribe right here to KOE Nation on YouTube. Be sure to head right over to KOE Nation on Twitch and we will get together and it's gonna be a great party folks. But until then, Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. I hope that you make it back here happy, healthy, much the wiser. God bless, and I'll catch you on the flip side.